got Marco Labricioso from the Lions taking on Ryan Stark. We have Marco Labrachosa representing Alliance Jiu-Jitsu. So this match is six minutes, purple belt, so all subs legal. No slams. For those of you guys tuning in, we do let the match um, keep rolling if there is a submission locked in when the time runs out. So don't count yourself safe. Ooh. Yeah, I think Ryan is really aggressive here with the, the pushes and the collar ties. He's going to wind up on top. Headhunting is Ryan. I like Marco's composure here. It's more of a mental game at this point. Pulls Butterfly to Stark. Now we're going to see Marco on top. I think that Ryan does have a good Butterfly guard. He has a nice underhook too, trapping that arm. And an overhook now. Closes the guard, does Ryan. Keeping that posture down, making sure he does, Marco doesn't stand. Ooh, and he oh, locks the triangle. triangle. Nice way to get out of that that arm lock. It's he not inverted. out. And now he has his left leg over the body. It looks like if he can if he can limp All out of it right. nice, like stay on top. That was nice. That was some good defense there. Yeah, super solid attempt. Ooh. Got to look at a. Marco was looking for a look at the leg. So that's gonna count for something here if it does go to judge's decision. Nice footwork. Hook, not much. Well, now he has outside Ashi. He does, and it's very, very. I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, Marco's defense here. Absolutely. Marco's looking to collect that second leg. Oh, he separated. Oh, yeah, it looked like, oh, he dug his heel. No, Ryan's doing a good job of pointing the toes as well. Yeah. Now Mar Marco's really hunting for it now. He's trying to shoot saddle. He does get that leg side. I can't tell where, where the grip is. Yeah, that hit, uh, Ryan's left arm is preventing Marco's leg from posting on the hip. It looks like a straight ankle. Yeah, Ryan was eating that. I'd imagine he felt it a little bit in the ankle, but now Ooh. he's got a... Well, Ryan went for a straight ankle lock of his own. I like that. Yeah, very good pummel. Mm, yeah, you see how Ryan retreated on that? He didn't like that toe the hold, toe even hold, though he had a heel hook. Really good leg work. Ryan trying to put that guys. knee bar under the armpit, but you see how Marco keeps scooting and rotating his knee, swiveling it. Yeah, he if you don't. Save. Oh, he's going to. Lined up on the back now off of Stark's knee bar attempt. But is that going to account for all the sub attempts that Ryan had with the legs? I mean, he doesn't have a lot of time to, to make up for those. I would say that Ryan's uh, submissions were definitely a little bit deeper. Yeah, for sure. That was that was textbook. 
Yeah, if I was Marco, I'd keep that locked with 10 seconds yeah, left. Sure. Oh, he, he does have it locked. Yeah. No, it's going to go live. It's they're still, letting it they're letting, letting it ride. Ryan has to escape. He has to escape. Oh, wow. my God. Yeah. Oh. And that's why that rule comes into play. Wow. This is that's a perfect insane. example of it. You know, Ryan, Ryan had deep submissions. He was, he was going after it the whole time, and then Marco at the end. Damn. Yeah, and, you know, and it's funny. Billy had just made an announcement uh, telling the crowd not to yell time. He yeah. heard somebody yell time, but referee Brian Sheehan, he let it keep on running because he was still in a fully locked triangle, and it, it, it worked out um, the way it's supposed to. You know, yeah. that's why you let it ride. Uh, in those deep submissions at the end. Wow. I mean, honestly, if he would have gotten out of it, I would have said it was Ryan's. I, for sure. Some if of, he would have got out. Were, yep. were, were really deep. Um, wow. 